What's up guys, welcome back. This is video number six in this series on a connect the dots game with JavaScript. Now today's video is actually going to be the last one in this series because believe it or not, we can actually get our dots connecting with just one more function. So if you guys wanna see more videos added to this particular series, then just leave a comment below on what you want to see if you want me to add some other kind of functionality to the game we've got already. But all right, let's get started. So as you can see, I have our JavaScript page open and I'm just gonna scroll down here to the bottom. And what we're gonna be doing is actually adding another function right here. This is the last function we're gonna need to get these lines drawn. So we're gonna do a draw line function. So we're gonna actually wait to put anything into the draw line until we go back and fix up a little bit of the code that we have going on here because obviously we don't want an alert saying that they're colliding. We actually want to do something. As you can see, I already added a new variable up here at the top after our i variable, and it's just called col for collision. Just to hold whatever dot we collide with, we wanna remember what it is. So what we do here is I removed our alert that we had, and now we'll just do set our col equal to D in this case, because D is going to be the dot at the current iteration, meaning that we collided with whatever dot that was. All right, so now after we add that col equals D, at the bottom here under the for loop, we actually wanna make an if statement. And what this if statement is gonna check for is basically if that col does not equal null, we're gonna run some code, and then else we're gonna run some code. So first, Inside this if statement, we're actually gonna be making another if statement. But before we do that, I added a data variable up here called the clicked dot. And now clicked dot will be holding the dot that was previously clicked. So in this case, it would start be initialized to null. And then what we would do here is we wanna to check to see if that data dot clicked dot equals null, or in this case, actually, if it doesn't equal null, we'd like to call the draw line function. And then at the bottom, we just want to set the data dot clicked dot equal to the col. So now we save the previous click dot. So now draw line is actually going to need to take a variable, we need to pass in a variable. So we're going to pass in the col. So now col is gonna get passed in. And now the draw line we'll actually take that and we'll call it the to dot because that's gonna be the dot that we're drawing the line to. And then the from dot would be the dot that we were drawing the line from. So we have the from and the to dot and the from dot is saved as this, the clicked dot. So we have access to that already inside the function. We just need to know which dot we're going to. So here we actually want to call a data dot ctx and we want to begin a path and then we want to do a data.ctx and we want to move to that first dot now so what we'll do is we'll say the data.clicked.x and the data.clicked.y so we move to that and now we want to draw a line from that so we'll do the line to function and we'll actually draw the line to the two dot. So the dot that we pass in. And then we'll go ahead and just style this line now that we're drawing. So we'll do data.ctx and we'll just give this a line width of five and data.ctx will give it a stroke style and we'll give it the same color, 777. And then of course we need to now call the stroke function. And then lastly, let's just close that path. So now this draw line function will draw a line from our previous dot to the one we just clicked on. So now one more thing we'll add here now at the bottom is we still have our else statement. And the else statement, I just wanna say, if you don't click, if when you click on the screen and you're not colliding with a dot, just set the clicked dot equal to null. So then we won't have to worry about any of the line stuff so we can actually reset the line by just clicking on an empty space. So now we go ahead and save that and now if we just open up our browser here and we refresh the page, 
If you go ahead and click on a dot, nothing happens. But then if you click on a second dot, it draws a line, which is super cool. That's what we wanted. So let's just go ahead. And since obviously we can't see this happening very well with two lines, we can just go ahead or two dots, sorry. We'll go ahead and add a couple of more dots here. So we'll add one here at 200 and 100, and then we'll add one at 100 and 200. So we should have a square. So now if you open up your browser and refresh again, it should look like this, or however you configured your dots, you could do it any way you wanted to. Um, you can click on one, then click on another one, then click on another one, click on another one, and so on. And you can do that as many times as you want and click through these and you can refresh the page and then you can go like this. Now if I click off of the dots, so let's just say I click on the screen over here, now it will reset. So now I can click on a dot and then click on another dot and draw those lines so they're separate from each other. All right, so just to recap for what we did here is we literally just made this one function that draws a line and styles it. And then all we did was just give it what dots we wanted to draw from and to. And we just set all that stuff using this if statement down here and saving our clicked dot up here. So pretty simple. If you guys want to see anything more elaborate than this, please leave <laughs> flies. Please leave a comment or a suggestion or whatever below. Like I said, this is the this will be the last video that I do for this series, of course, unless anybody want something specific in later videos. But be sure to like the video, comment below, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing next, but I'll figure something out. All right, guys. Peace.